What's up, ladies and gents? It's Idaho Dub with another NCAA Road to Glory video. It is week two of ID3 senior season. We are down in Georgia, taking on to Georgia Tech. Sorry, I had to go Ray Charles on you there for a second. Happy 2015. I mean, look at this. Dub's off to a great start in 2015. I have a video up within two days of the new year. I mean, I'm, I'm on a streak right now. But uh, yeah, I've been on a bit of a hiatus, but that's all. Oh, dub, as you can see, I haven't been playing a lot. Throwing a pick the first game. First first play of the game. Come on now, Dub. Come on. But I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday season. The bowl season. The bowl season. What? College football. Are you kidding me? What is going on? Oregon and Ohio State in the national championship? Come again? I thought for sure. I mean, I thought Oregon would win. I didn't think it was going to be a blowout like it was. But I did not think that Alabama was going to lose. I just didn't see that happening. But there you have it. Oregon, Ohio State. I hope it's entertaining. I think... I mean, early prediction for me is Oregon's Oregon's going to win this one, but I don't know, man. I've always liked Urban Meyer, so he'll have him ready. We'll just put it that way. But it's just been a crazy bowl season. There's been major comebacks, teams going for two, some getting it, some not getting it. It's just it's been a, it's been an entertaining bowl season to say the least. And then we got the wild card playoffs. The playoffs, playoffs. My Dallas Cowboys, you know, are going to be uh, playing the Detroit Lions tomorrow. And let's just say I I need a win, okay? I need it. I need it for a boost. I'm happy, though. I'm pumped. I'm, the Cowboys have had a phenomenal season, and I hope they can continue rolling. Plus, I don't know if you – I'm a diehard Cowboys fan, so I'll remember this. Some of you might not. The last two times they've played the Lions, they've been ahead big, and they've blown the lead. So that was a terrible option, Dub. That was terrible. But, I mean, they've been up big. That one game they were up like 24 nothing, and they blew that. And then the last game, I think I think they were up a couple scores. That was when Calvin Johnson had like 600 yards receiving. Okay, maybe it wasn't 600, but it was like 300. So, so it's just been a crazy, man. It's been a crazy few weeks for football. It's been fun. It's been entertaining. I've been having a ball watching it. I've also been having a ball watching basketball. My fantasy basketball team, dude, tied for first in my division right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm, I'm paying attention to the NBA. What is going on in the world right now? I, but it's a good thing I am because next weekend I'm going to Las Vegas for my buddy's bachelor party. And we're going there because he, the bachelor, wants to go. He wanted to be there to bet on pro, you know, the NFL playoffs. And which could be, which is good and bad for me because if Dallas wins and then they go next week, I mean, I'm going to be all stressed out. It's going to be against Green Bay. I know a lot of people who are Packers fans. I'm, I'm just going to be stressed out next week, you know. But. The good thing is I've been paying attention to NBA, the NBA this year, so I will kind of have an idea of what I'm doing when I'm betting on basketball. Actually, that doesn't really help because I pay attention to football, and I don't usually win when I'm betting football. But, oh, Dub, look at this run. 25, 15, 5. Oh, Dub, that was a nice-looking run. I haven't seen too many of those from him in a while. So, yeah. College football's been crazy. NFL football's been... Well, hasn't been too crazy. It's been fun, though. It's been entertaining. And I recently... So I went back to Idaho for um, the Christmas vacation. Oh, sorry. the ho My holiday break. <laughs> and I was back there for like... Uh, I think like seven or eight days. Yeah, I think it was like eight days. So as you probably know, there's not much to do in the small town that I grew up in. Like nothing. So I hung out with my family all day, like my nephews and stuff. But like at night, I don't go to bed at like 7.30 or 8 when like my nephews go to bed. So I would, you know, stay up and watch TV or whatever. So I started a few new addictions. Oh my gosh, Dub. Is he going to break another one? Dub to the 10, the 5. Dub is in a 56-yard run. Dub. Whew. He's been working on, his, working on his run game in the offseason, it looks like. Anyways, while I was back home, I started a few new addictions is what I like to call them. I started watching uh, Parks and Rec, which I, I know they're going into their final season. So a lot of you have probably already seen it. But that show is hilarious, man. I have been binge watching it. Dub, two picks. Two picks. Come on, man. Ah, rusty. I'm a little rusty with the sticks today. But Parks and Rec is hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a fan of Aziz, but... He's great in that show, especially after season one. Season one, I was kind of like, man, I don't know, but I just kept watching it. It's freaking hilarious, man. If you haven't watched that, you should definitely do it. I, I had friends tell me. I'm kind of like that. I, I don't know why. I'm, like, stubborn when it comes to TV shows at first. Like, if somebody likes it. I think it's just 
just like those natural instincts I, uh, that I just like need to hate to hate. I don't even know why. I had nothing against the show. I mean, I'm not the biggest Amy Poehler fan, but yeah, it's amazing. But I also started another addiction, and it's not television. It's not a movie. It's not a book. It's a podcast. It's my very first podcast I've ever listened to in my entire life. And you probably know what it is since, or maybe you don't, but it's the most downloaded podcast of all time, Serial, and it's spelled S-E-R-I-A-L, not like the Captain Crunch Serial. It is, oh, I finished it. It was crazy. It is nuts. It is absolutely awesome. If you're not familiar with it, with it, I know some people, like, you're either a podcast person or you're not. And I'm, I guess I am, am I, maybe, maybe that's not the best way to put it. Cause I'm probably not going to listen to too many other podcasts, but I am going to check a few more out. <laughs> but my buddy had turned me on to this and it's about this case essentially from like the late nineties, like 1999, early two thousands, uh, this Baltimore case. And it's, it's a murder case. And like the way that the, the case played out, essentially the guy who's in prison for it says he's innocent but like all of the evidence doesn't quite add up to, you know, basically there was like enough evidence to prove, you know, you couldn't prove within a reasonable doubt that he had done it, but he was still convicted. And there's like a bunch of stuff missed and like a bunch of botched information. Anyways, it's very, very interesting how the narrator of the podcast lays it all out. Um, And the best part about it was I, I didn't start listening to it until it was over. So there's 12 episodes, but she would update it weekly so you would listen to it and she while while she was updating it she didn't even know how the story was going to end because she was doing all this research and she's not an investigator or anything like that she used to be a reporter for the sun times in baltimore and so she's you know she's not a lawyer or a, an a, you know an investigator she's just laying out these facts and it, it's a it's pretty amazing it's it's actually pretty incredible all the work that she's done um it sparked a lot of conversation one would say so you guys should definitely check that out. It's 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 a very very interesting listen, I guess you would say. So Serial is awesome. Parks and Rec is awesome. College football and NFL season has been awesome. Things have just been awesome lately, man. Things have been awesome. I also I started a new job on Monday, and I'm actually going to talk to you guys um, maybe a little bit about what my prior job was. I know I never told you. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna divulge a whole bunch of information over these last few videos during ID3 senior year, and I'm gonna try to probably wrap up another season of the uh, the, the Dynasty series. So that's gonna do it, man. I just kind of rambled on there, but it's been a minute. I've, I've been I've been missing you guys, you know. Uh, I haven't talked to you in a while, and I wanted to hop on here and just say hello, you know, say hello. <laughs> that's gonna do it, though. Vandy coming out on top. We're gonna we're gonna start off the season two and zero. There's Dove. Look at that. Ooh, even 162 passing, 162 rushing. He got some long runs. ID three looking good. Trying to get that Heisman Trophy this year. We're going for it, baby. Can't hold nothing back. 30 to 15 is the final. ID three and his Vanderbilt Commodores stomping out the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. That's gonna do it. I hope you guys have had a great start to the new year. I want to thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.